Blessings, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Hope everyone is doing well and in grace. So, Holy Spirit gave me this message. Oh, we can't see my um, my little sunflowers. I forgot to look up the meaning of sunflowers. Hi, S. Hamel. I was guided to buy sunflowers today. Hello, healing frequencies of divine vibrations, awakening, blessings, Trinity. <clears throat> Hi, Mimi, divinity. Um, forgot to look up the spirit. Can you see my little sunflowers? Oopsies. Excuse me. Somebody might have indigestion. Thank you. What is spiritual meaning? Of sunflowers. Does anyone know? Sunflower. Enlightenment. Sunflowers can grow tall and grow even in adverse conditions, making the symbols of longevity and resilience. The sunflower can also be seen as a symbol of enlightenment, spiritual awakening, and personal growth. Its bright yellow petals radiate energy and thought to bring positivity and joy in people's lives. Hi, God's property. The seeds. Oh, I just got chills. I just got chills. So I walked in the store and that was the first thing I saw. And I was guided to put them here. Yes. I knew that the sunflower represents um, sacred geometry. Thank you. Hi, Trisha. Hi, Ellie. Many blessings. So I have been seeing... Four 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 four, um, eleven eleven one eleven two twenty two. I've been seeing them all day, and it's only one thirty here. I saw one twenty three, so one twenty three is also that a message is coming. Blessings, Philip. Hi, peace, Lily. Eleven eleven. Yes, you too. Yeah, it's because we are all collectively. If you guys. It's 222 right now. If you resonate with um, my energy, you resonate with my channel. You're we're vibing, we're vibing, we're vibing at the same frequency. The face of the sun. Oh, I like that. Thank you. Um, and collectively, we're all rising. Yeah, you've been seeing them. You've been seeing all those numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Um, the Holy Spirit gave me karmics are us. So somebody here has been playing with a lot of karmics. If you guys remember toys are us, somebody likes to play with karmics. Somebody feels very much at home with the karmics. Holy Spirit labeled this karmics are us. And then somebody has put a spiritual, hired a spiritual bounty hunter on you. So Holy Spirit showed me the movie John Wick. And then I saw, is it Attila the Hun, um, Java the Hun with Princess Leia. John Wick was because everyone has been against you. Somebody here couldn't do it themselves. So they had to hire others. They've been doing it on the spiritual realm. And for some of you, this person had to do it on the 3D where they've lost their gifts and they had to hack your technology. Then Holy Spirit took me over to, I can't say the name right. Is it Java the Hunt? This person feels like they possess you, like you're their property. When you are property of God paid for and by the blood of the lamb. Oh, I just got chills. Because the Holy Spirit showed me, there was a scene in that movie where, where, Princess Leia is like chained to, is his name Java? Java the Hunt. This person, whether it was energetically, spiritually, or on the 3D, they thought that you were their property. And somebody came here at a vengeance when you either walked away, you didn't wait for somebody. Because the first thing I saw was Han Solo. Han Solo was the bounty hunter. And then they ended up putting 
a hit out on the bounty hunter, which was Han Solo. So whoever is doing this to you, I'm being shown the tables, Jesus coming in, turning over the tables. And what is that saying? The foot is a hunt, hunt is a foot. Now they are being hunted. Hmm? Good morning. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's clear our space. So if you want to close your eyes, setting your intention on anything that has been heavy in your heart, anything that you would like to release. So closing your eyes, taking a deep inhale. Oopsies, we're over here. Breathing in the breath of God. Exhale, inhale, sacred breath into each cell, each tissue, each internal organ with light of God. Holy Spirit, we ask that you walk before us as a teacher and a friend, teaching us discernment with the righteous and the wicked. We ask for the ring of fire for protection. We ask that you fill our heart with grace and humility to keep us humble. Archangel Michael, we ask that you vacuum away any negative energy, dark energy in our aura. With love to all, harm to none, we call back our power recalibrated to God's frequency of love. We call in the holy angels, Archangel Raphael, say the word and your soul shall be healed. To the south, we evoke Archangel Michael, shielding, clearing us, putting us in a pillar of God's light. To the west, we evoke Archangel Gabriel, spiritual eyes, spiritual ears, and a spiritual heart. To the north, we evoke Archangel Uriel, asking for our divine light. From below, Archangel Sanofin grounds us to Mother Earth. And Archangel Metatron brings us the God self, the Christ consciousness. In the name and the power of Jesus Christ, we rebuke anyone attempting to delay our mission, our purpose, our journey with God. We send all these demons to the pit by the authority of Jesus Christ, making us a pure vessel. We declare this our sacred space. We are protected as above, as below. Holy Spirit, we pray for anyone who needs this prayer. We pray for world leaders that you may soften their heart, that they may hear the word of God. Anyone being persecuted in their home, food, shelter, money, anyone struggling with addictions, with poor health, may you lead us away from temptation and a deliverance from evil. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, take a deep inhale in your heart. Just coming heart-centered in gratitude. And exhale. And welcome back. Ah, Amelia, thank you so much. Thank you for your donation. Thank you so much. All right, let's see. Holy Spirit. Mm, let's start with this little duck. Are you ready? Is on the top. Holy Spirit. Untold stories about you. Somebody has been lying. Someone here could be an earth sign. You could be an earth sign. They could be an earth sign. Someone was lying to the karmics about you. Yeah, all this person does is stalk you. Is it too late to apologize? This person, oopsies. That fell on the floor. Somebody is going through a divorce right now. So this could be a spiritual divorce. You have to take how it resonates for you. You're welcome. What goes around comes around. So this person, what they sent your way, they're now receiving it. Somebody could be waiting on a paternity test. An air sign. See, people are walking away from them and their lies. Never too late to repent. Confuse needing boundaries. This person, now I know why karmics are us. 
somebody here is like swimming through karmics. It, karmics are confusing somebody here. Somebody lacks boundaries. You are receiving protection and lineage from your ancestors. So your ancestors are protecting you from whatever they're bringing your way. So a lot of you, they could be just giving you signs, messages. I received this this morning too. So somebody here has a severe drinking problem. And the more that they drink, the sicker somebody here is getting. Drunken, drunk karmic bully abuse. Someone here is being bullied by their karmics, whether this is mentally, spiritually, emotionally, or financially. Wow, now this is in reverse. Somebody here isn't ready for all this. And you have bossed up. Somebody smokes. Does somebody have indigestion or heartburn? I'm feeling like someone here is either not eating properly or has a lot of heartburn. This person who over drinks, every time they drink, they get sick. It's literally eating away at somebody's esophagus and their lower intestines. It's all about them living their fake life. They're rooted in power and money. Somebody here has been doing moon spells. So this could be somebody's family doing moon spells. And someone here needs to stop trafficking. There's going to be some kind of letter or communication. Why is... This person made very poor choices. So somebody here has a new baby. Using your photo. You walked away for peace and abundance. Hey, Anastasia. You wanted more for your life. Why is your photo here? Somebody wanted to be you. Someone was trying to manifest with your photo. Now they're needing to pay hush money. Regrets getting caught. This person ended up going towards a borderline psychopath full of drama. You are a seer and you are having a major comeback. Wow, air sign again. So these people are going to get banished. You could have banished them or God is getting ready to banish them out of your energy. Narcissistic false person wanting to travel towards you to balance out their life. <sighs> Misfortune, it all goes up. So someone here could also be a fire sign. These cards are never satisfied. Spiritual narcissist. These are somebody here. This could have been an autumn glory to God. Yeah, you wanted more for yourself. So you had to isolate yourself because you wanted more for yourself. Somebody here didn't isolate themselves. They just kept going. <clears throat> Someone here feels very comfortable with spiritual narcissists. Narcissists came up twice. So karmics are us. Somebody here keeps going from karmic to karmic. And now they're having to pay hush money because these spiritual narcissists, they want to come into a divine feminine, divine masculine and tell them someone had 
tried to sacrifice you. You know, no. So this is a vampire that's been draining your energy. The love and legacy of our DNA. This person, these people were supposed to clear their ancestral DNA, but they just created more. More karma. Spider, community and web weaving. See, Car well, Holy Spirit, karmics are us. This person is surrounded by karmics. The sacredness of pausing. This winter really shifted the collective. We have another 4-4 four, four portal coming in. And there's going to be a few more 4-4s. Four, I'll have to I'll figure it out. Hidden talents. This came in reverse. Somebody's hidden talents, they didn't receive it. The veil. See, for you, the veil is very thin and it's actually getting thinner. But it came in reverse. So somebody's intuition is blocked because of what they've been doing. Ice brown. The witch, the witch and the vampire. Wow. Somebody here has been trying to, they've been playing with fire. If someone's been playing in your energy, they're playing with fire. Skull of light. Everything is being illuminated to you. And you've reduced your burden by forgiving them and stay instead. You have the light on. Midnight. The most magical hour. Somebody here does something at midnight. I don't know if there's some kind of midnight spell, but it didn't work. So these people that tried to control you are now coming in this zombie energy. This zombie Somebody was either doing something with a, in a graveyard or with a moon magic. The zombie attached back to them. Thing. Yeah, this werewolf energy here. Death. The internal cycle begins. You have opportunities coming in because you've been obedient. You didn't return the energy. Wow. Mm -hmm. The miracle is within you. And somebody here, you're no longer in denial. Denial came in reverse. They believe their own lies and mad you don't believe them. So you no longer believe their lies. Hi, Shamika. Somebody here needs to fast from toxic relationships. The karmics are us. <clears throat> this person could have been up for a spiritual leader, the music stop. They were supposed to teach others to break out of bondage. This person can't teach anyone because they haven't <clears throat> gotten themselves out. Someone here needs to spend more time outdoors to receive light codes. They do not embody the Holy Spirit. This person, if this person did the ultimate betrayal on you, they're going to receive the ultimate betrayal. Whatever karmics they're with, the karmics are us. These karmics are us will put a spiritual bonnie hunter on them. Hmm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You were cloud watching. This person has been doing comeback spells, attempting to seduce you. But you're protected. You're highly protected. Someone here could be a Leo. 
Courage to overcome your demons. Pisces. So for somebody, this is happening right now because we're, are we in Aries season? Yes. They don't know who they are. This person could see you as cold hearted because now you have closed your heart. It's Aries season. I'm not grounded, I guess. I attract all good things. So when you walked away from this energy, your life got better. You started attracting better things. This person takes no accountability, lying and blaming you. So every time this person met a new karmic, a new person, they would blame you and make up lies about you. So if this person cheated on you, they said you cheated on them. They could have said you stole money. Whatever they did to you, they stole money. They stole your house. This person told karmics that you did it. So now they can't cope. They're stuck in the Jezebel's revenge. Someone's initials, C, D, E, J, K, L, Q, R, S, Y, X, Y, Z. Thank you, Elisabeth. Thank you. Because no weapon formed against you shall prosper. You are part of the 144. This person is trying to remote view you. So make sure that you are anointing yourself with the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Healing your ancestral lineage and years of pain and suffrage passed down from your family. Someone here could be a Scorpio. Karmics are us, addicted to karmics because they have no discernment. Only wanting you back because you're leaving. And somebody here will no longer have financial freedom. You could be a Capricorn, they could be a Capricorn. This was somebody who was a master manipulator. Oh my goodness gracious. Somebody is very fog. The fog is lifting for you. It says fog and then it says veil. But see how the sun, everything is being illuminated for you. Somebody here is not being nurtured. They're not nurturing their soul. Came in reverse. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, this right now. So you're being true to all lies. See, somebody here has been trying to do some kind of ceremony. Who said someone is doing some kind of new moon ceremony? Or someone could have promised, a, a bounty hunter could have promised that they would take you down by the next new moon and it didn't happen because you are the high priestess. Somebody here is not innocent. So someone wants to come back. Pretend they're innocent. Yeah, this is somebody that has no movement. Someone could live near a river. Their energy is very low vibrational. And this spring equinox, you've had a sacred rebirth. Someone here does need to get grounded, so spending time in nature. You are in the flow. Someone here could live near an ocean. This person feels very isolated, but they're not healed. This is somebody that they could be sitting in a room full of people, and this person still feels alone. So they have to seek out karmics so that they're not alone. Yeah, solitude came in reverse. Something happened on an island with someone. 
This is somebody that doesn't have compassion. They don't have love. And someone has DNA and their karma in their DNA that they cannot release. They, they were supposed to break this DNA and their karma, but they're not still. There's no new beginning for them. Someone here didn't have the strength to overcome the mountain. I just did this on my other page. I am life coaching LLC is you guys passed the test and someone here didn't pass the test. Again, back to nurturing. They, they were not part of creation. They, they didn't want to move forward to create heaven on earth. What is that? You can see the ocean from nice. So somebody here didn't gain wisdom. They don't have power from the divine. You can't trust them. So this watcher went towards a low vibrational queen. Ah, thank you, Don. Many blessings. The spiritual dance. This person's perception was off. You have material wealth and true prosperity coming in. You stayed in the rainbow body. You persevered. This person broke their promises to you. Yeah, they aren't part of the vastness, the cosmos. This is sticking out. The phoenix came in reverse. So somebody didn't rise. They didn't awaken. Hmm. They didn't resurrect. They didn't surrender to God. Oh. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This hawk prince came in reverse. Spirit communicator paying attention. They didn't pay attention. Dreams, good illusions. Some of you could be like dream walkers, realm walkers. You communicate to God and the angels. Anything else? I spoke? The hungry ghost. Uh, obsession, scarcity, consciousness, attachment. This person has an attachment to some kind of demon. Whatever they tried to send to you, return to them times 10. So this person ended up going towards a sacred union that is not sacred. The sacred union could have been with you. First, we have to come in sacred union within ourselves with God. And this person went towards an unsacred partnership. The camel boy. They didn't ask for help. They didn't take the leap of faith. Their dreams are not coming true. The sun dancers, you are joyful, celebration of life, and you are abundant. Hmm. Thank you, Elise. Karma. Karmic, karmic city. So you've been working really hard and you have a financial opportunity coming in. The world, you've completed this cycle. Some of you could be traveling. Things are being integrated for you. Okay, so. These people have fallen from God's grace. They delay their own awakening journey. Failed communication. Somebody is really stuck in the past. And you are moving forward. Hard work. Your focus on your future. You've been waiting for God to redirect you. Thank you, Elizabeth. For a new beginning. 
So you come in, you've set very strong and clear boundaries. You're speaking God's truth. You're walking in your truth. That's why you're vibrating at a higher vibration. This person was stringing you along, breadcrumbing you. It, it, a lot of satisfaction when this person was breadcrumbing you, gaslighting you. This person would breadcrumb and gaslight everybody. This person would put people through some kind of test. This person needs to learn a lesson. So you're moving towards, you're in Empress mode. So you're moving towards a higher vibrating soulmate. This person was very critical, manipulative. And Queen of Pentacles, you're very loving, very nurturing. You're very intuitive, but you're very much in gratitude, hope, faith, and dreams. Someone here could be an Aquarius. Yeah, this person, negative thoughts, imprisonment. Someone here could be getting imprisoned for what they did. When you walked away from this person, it triggered an abandonment wound from within. This person feels rejected right now. Someone here could be a bartender. And you're still loving, compassionate, stable. Somebody here is stuck. They're stuck in the past. You have an offer coming in. And this person was a very painful ending. This person could have stabbed you in the back 10 times. They are overcommitted, struggling, unemployment, lack of success. You have a new blessing coming in. My hair keeps getting stuck. <laughs> That's why I keep pulling it. Ten of Pentacles. So you have generational abundance coming in. You have a windfall of abundance coming in. This person, somebody here is very much like feeling lazy, not wanting to do anything. Secret society, done with these karmics. I'm not addicted to them. Mm. You moved through a very challenging time because you moved forward. You're moving towards a new beginning. If you're manifesting with God, you're moving towards that new beginning. Somebody here is delayed because they don't. There's too many people in this person's life. And I just see somebody juggling, being very confused, drinking, smoking, partying. There's a lack of ambition right now with whoever is in your life. Unable to express her emotions. So I just got, I want you guys to be mindful that my karmics are actually on my channel and they like to make their comments as well. So just be mindful with what you post because my karmics are watching me because they can't come towards me in person. So they have to come on here and they have to make their comments. So just be mindful of what you're, you're posting on here. These are people who betrayed you. Deception, secret planning. There's injustice here. And they're going through the tower. This person fell from the grace of God. This is somebody who ghosted you, is now very brokenhearted. You have an emperor who avoided responsibility. Q 
feeling very left out in the cold. You could be waiting to plan something or you could be waiting for God to tell you where to go. You have to stay patient with the Lord. You're moving ahead. And you have a happy family coming in. That's the happy ever after. You just have to make sure that you're far and clear away from the karmics when the time is right for God to tell you to move and you move, that you are ready. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, let's do this deck, shall we? Rotten seeds plant. Rotten seeds planted and blued have rotten fruit. They always prefer flings over deep relationships. Oh, wow. All eyes are on the anointed ones. These fall out. They are not highly ranked or favored. Seek refuge in God and allow God to restore you to mend your broken heart. Did these fall out? You just want justice. This person has been doing evil spells. You are protected by Archangel Michael. Shocked they couldn't play you. You are one on a secret mission from God. They are out of control. I don't care. Forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who sins against us and lead us not into temptation. You are holy love. Someone here could live in Miami. Sacred divine feminine, sacred divine masculine, unity consciousness with God. This is a master manipulator putting on a show. This person loves to be center of attention. So someone's mother could be involved. A glen for punishment. They always go back to the karmics. Somebody here has, what? Did, how do you say the word? An air, harem? Harem? Harem of, of karmics. This person plays with the karmics, runs with the karmics. 144, you have big payouts because of your unshakable faith. They had no right to treat you so unkind. Thief will be taken away. Somebody has been trying to block your calls. They did not honor God. A life of addictions. I have to rewrite that card. Anything else, Holy Spirit? God's going to force them out of their comfort zone. So someone's initial could be UVWX. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 12 confirmations. So this is your spiritual bounty hunter. Karmics are us. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. So somebody has been doing this to you for three years. Imprisonment, jail, asylum, rehab, prison, isolated and trapped. That's someone could get imprisonment for three years. For some of you, this person has been doing this to you for three years. Let go and make peace with the past. This person will lose. Somebody did embezzlement, which is going to cause them to lose everything. You're too high ranking. So in six months, Holy Spirit, what will happen in six months? Going to jail. Oh, Holy Spirit. God was preparing you for what is not a transformational shift. They need a place to stay, no home. So in six months, this person could be getting kicked out. Torn between two lovers, feeling like a fool. 
this person is torn between karmics. Narcissist, self-centered, wealthy man. Karmic wanting to speak to the divine feminine. Impersonation of individuals, medical records. Wow. Somebody was playing with your medical records. Someone here could have told someone you were sick. Mortified to find out the truth, what the karmic did to them. You're in the palm of God's hand. God sent a prophet to carry out God's mission. Someone feels entitled to your soul. If you truly want to awaken, forgiveness is needed for you and them. I feel like this is somebody that won't forgive you. Illegally accessing bank accounts and financials. Wanting you to submit to them. So someone here could be from Chicago. A transfer of wealth from the wicked to the righteous. You are healing your body, mind, and soul. Let me think also I spoke. A divine wedding has been ordained. Yet for the sake of David, I will tear it out of the hands of your son. History repeats itself. David the son feeds the sin, but repent and David loved God more than his sin. Karmic's revenge, stealing their money, betraying them, and making them crazy. So something could have happened in August. Someone pays a $30,000 payout. A rat in your camp. Up all night plotting because they have demonic possession. This person will end up calling you from prison. And some of you have karmic friends. You have new streams of income coming in. And you have a new emperor. Thank you. You haven't spoken to him in nine months. Wow. All right. Anything else for spread? Yes, 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 yes. This hair is stuck here. Oh my gosh. Unalived. Dance with me. Do something to change your energy. So with all this eclipse energy, make sure that you guys are moving energy, dancing, walking, exercising. Somebody here, this came in reverse. Your life is a canvas. They can't manifest. You have to have very strong and healthy boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries right now? You're being cracked open. So somebody here had to hit. They need to go to rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of God. You are a warrior, Christ light. Have you entered your deepest calling? I think that's. That gives me Joan of Arc vibes. You started Pilates. The energy to move energy is very important right now. With the we're we have a Mercury retrograde sandwich and two eclipses, so energy is very intense right now. Starkeeper, your cosmic ancestors see the light by standing by stay grounded, staying grounded. Somebody here didn't lose, learn the lesson. They don't have coping mechanisms because of the density and addictions. They need to let God in. The blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. This 4-4 four, four portal, I don't know if I, I got to check to see if I have, um, I was going to do a meditation on the 4th. Because once we hold the higher frequency, and if we can hold that higher frequency for the 4-8, I feel like that we will be able to push through. All right. Thank you, Elise. Let's see what else. Let's get guidance for the Divine Feminine. Okay. 
Be proud of yourself. Aw. Someone here could be a Taurus guidance for the divine masculine. They get to trust the universe. Someone could be an Aquarius. Step into your power. Aries, someone's being guided to step in their power right now for Aries season. Step in your power before the eclipse. And guidance for the union, Holy Spirit, please. Reveal what needs to be seen. Release control. Holy Spirit. Someone can be a Taurus or Scorpio. Keep your heart chakra open, Libra. Unleash your kindest self, Capricorn. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh-oh. Oh, my initials are all the way over there. What else? Anything else, Holy Spirit? Somebody here wasn't of service. <clears throat> they lied. Somebody here, their money, they're going to be surprised when their money is gone. A pleasure seeker. Someone here is going to be in a lot of despair. Excuse me. See, somebody here has been running with the wrong crowd. That's why they're so sad. <clears throat> From a native altar Navajo in the eighth eclipse. You are happy because you have awakened. You're ascending. These people are not your friends. You have somebody, you have a lover who is praying. Anything else? You have, you have been very faithful to God. And this, again, thief is here. Somebody, whatever they tried to steal from you, they couldn't steal it. So somebody here is stealing from them and someone is stealing their energy. We have Black Widow here in reverse. Somebody doesn't know that their energy is being drained out. You stayed on your journey. A lot of you have sacred wisdom. Wow. The Black Widow to the Widow. This person found somebody that is the same frequency as them, that had the same intentions. Someone wants to have a conversation with you or, wow, someone's wife wants to have a conversation, but they're a foe. They're waiting. Wow. Someone could be waiting for someone to become unalive. There is a masculine energy that is very sick here. I've been channeling this. So some of you may get a letter and you have fortune here. This is a hidden enemy. So either you have a hidden enemy or this person who is very sick has a hidden enemy. You are vibrating love. Holy Spirit there. You see the Holy Spirit? Oh, there's two. Let me get my initial card. Okay. All right, Holy Spirit, who is this message for? Taurus, again. Who is this for, Holy Spirit? You have Aries. Someone here could be a doctor. Didn't doctor come up before? Doctor. You have a T. You have a Virgo, a Cancer. Archangel Metatron is in the house. Archangel Gabriel. You have ZK. You have an M, Gemini, Libra, and O. Does that spell anything out? 
MRT, DM. Thank you, Nicola. So somebody here needs to go to AA or someone could be in AA. Someone is AL Alabama. Oh, I saw the initials KFC right before I came back. You have KFS. Someone here could be in San Francisco. You have DN. You have W. Oh, sorry. W. You have FR Frank. HR. MDA. Mad. Oh, somebody here is very mad. Yowzers. All right, guys, that's all I have. So this has been a collective reading. Take only what resonates. Uh, I am available for a private reading at IamLifeCoaching.com. Um, please continue to pray for one another. Pray for these karmics. Pray for anyone you can pray for. Please meditate. If you're guided to fast, fast. Just keep at your highest frequency. This is a time to keep looking up to get your affairs in order and to keep in prayer. So I love you guys. I'm praying for you. I'm humbled to be here. I'm grateful for you guys. So I'm praying for you and I'm sending you so much love. Bye. Thank you.